Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Lemurel HDMI video capture device. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if we look on the back, we have a diagram here. It shows different devices. It shows video camera, video games, camera, or tablet. That's as the input. And then on the output, they show sending it to a monitor, TV, or projector. So let me get this open. Okay, here we have some flag stickers, and here is a bookmark. So we don't have any instructions with this, but I don't think we're gonna need any. I'll go over the features and how to use this. So this has a USB-C interface, but it comes with a USB-C to USB 3.0 adapter. So you can pop this off. Now, if you're only using this with USB-C ever, you could potentially cut that off. I'm probably gonna leave it on for now. So you can put that on like that. And then on this end, we have two HDMI ports, and then one of these is the input, the other is the output, and it's written on the bottom here. So you kind of need this at the right angle to see it. So if you're using this in like a dark location regularly, and you're regularly pulling things in and out of here, you may want to throw some labels on top of this that are like real bright and easy to see, or memorize the location. So this device takes HDMI input, passes it through to the output, so you could put a video game system in here, send it through to your monitor or TV, and then it also takes that output and sends it to USB 3.0. So this here, when you plug it into a computer, will be recognized as a USB webcam. So you can use pretty much any software that will recognize a USB webcam. So on a Mac, you can record this with QuickTime. On Windows, you can record it with a camera app. And on both, you could record this with OBS. But there are countless other programs that will use this interface. So this should also work on Linux and Raspberry Pi and other devices that support the webcam interface. So let's get this plugged into the computer and test capturing some video. Okay, so I have this connected up here to my laptop. I have my switch here with this HDMI cable connected to the input. I have the HDMI output connected up to this monitor, and I have it on my laptop and on this monitor. And this is a MacBook Pro. This is an older MacBook Pro. It's a 2015 MacBook Pro, but this will work with older or newer computers because it has USB Type-C. So I have QuickTime Player currently up, and I'll show you the settings I used on it. So first of all, I went to the File menu, and that's up out of the screen here, but I'll just tell you what I did there. I went to File, and then said New movie recording and when this screen came up if you go down next to the record button you can click the little down arrow and it says camera and it'll say FaceTime camera if you're on a laptop and then it says display capture UVC 02 so I chose that and then if I scroll down to microphone I chose the same thing for the microphone so that means the audio and video will both be captured and then on a Mac I have the quality as high or maximum so I'm going to do recordings on both I'm guessing maximum is probably going to be uncompressed and high will be compressed so high might be 720p maximum might be 1080p I'll do the recordings and then I'll let you know so once I have those settings down I can hit record here and then I can play the game so I'll get this to where you can see both monitors Monitors, and there is going to be latency on the laptop. So when you're playing, you're going to want to look at the monitor, not the laptop. So if you want this device just so you can use your laptop as a monitor, this and other devices like it generally will have latency in them. But the nice thing about this one is that it does have that pass through so you can pass it through to a monitor or TV. So I'll hit continue here. And here I'm playing Mario Odyssey. Let's see if I can orient myself correctly. Okay, so this is an example of the high quality mode or the maximum quality mode, not the high quality mode. So I'll stop this and I'll go and do a recording of the high quality mode. Okay. So you want to look at the detail of the grass and things. I'll give you an idea of the quality. Okay, so I'll just stand in place and jump here. And you can see the latency between the two. Okay, so I'll stop this one. So now I'm going to put the raw clips I recorded directly into this video, and I'll put some text on the bottom of the resolution they each recorded at.
Okay, so as you saw there, the max was 1080p and the high was 720p. So that's with the QuickTime software. Now other software, you might be able to adjust that. The output you get from this will often be dependent upon the software you're using. So QuickTime doesn't give you a lot of options for importing, other software does. So that's the Lemurel HDMI video capture device. I like the form factor of this. This is a metal case with plastic on the inside. It has two HDMI ports on it, so you can connect up a monitor. So that's really nice. You don't have to have a separate splitter for this and it connects up to USB-C and USB-A. So this is a very compact capture device that covers all the bases. So I have a capture device that's a little bit smaller than this, but it only has USB type A and only has HDMI input. So if you want to use it to do something like play video games, then you have to get a separate splitter. It's kind of a complicated setup. This has two HDMI ports built right in super easy to do. So a device like this can be used to capture video game footage. You could say capture a presentation. You could hook a camera into this. You could hook say a DSLR into this. So if you wanted to use your DSLR camera as a webcam or even a GoPro as a webcam, you could do that. You could plug it into here with an appropriate adapter. So that makes it so you can pretty much turn any HDMI device into a USB webcam. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.